کردن سادا رو دکیم الان پشت سیو دارم تو سمت رام ایران از سفینا سادا امینا از فانوف آدرز آف در پیپر از ام کلابریتنگ بید دکتر شرمین شیم محمدی بس اوکی سن Uh, I'm not uh, one of the authors of the paper, and uh, since the others uh, couldn't contribute in the conference, I'm presenting their book. Uh, this paper is about uh, game as video, bit reduction, uh, bit rate reduction through adaptive objective, objective system. In this presentation, um, first uh, I review the background of the paper uh, and introduce you the game as video, uh, its advantages and uh, disadvantages. And uh, after that, uh, I talk about the proposed method in this paper, uh, the evaluation and the simulation results. And finally, uh, the presentation ended uh, with uh, some conclusion and uh, introducing the future box. Um, cloud gaming is a uh, combines of uh, cloud computing and online gaming and um, uh, became more popular uh, during the recent, the recent years. And several cloud uh, gaming services uh, now uh, is available on the market. Uh, the main idea of uh, cloud gaming is that uh, we, uh, the users uh, can uh, freeze from and that can, uh, can uh, get away uh, into the, the running of the game can uh, get away from the users into the data center or cloud. And, uh, the games is running on the cloud, and only the game experience uh, are um, streamed to the users, um, to the players. Uh, we have uh, some uh, approach in order to uh, do game streaming. The first one is uh, streaming the uh, 3D uh, objects and uh, mm, uh, the game experience to the players. Uh, in the second uh, approach, the uh, whole of the uh, game is considered as a video frame, video, and video frames uh, of the game are uh, streamed to the players. And the third one is uh, a hybrid approach. Uh, the focus of this uh, paper is uh, on the uh, second approach, and uh, it's like a video streaming, and uh, we named it uh, Game as a Video, or GAV. Uh, some of the advantages of this uh, game as video is that um, uh, the user frees from uh, updating its computer and uh, its related hardware because uh, the game is only running at the server side. And the only requirement is a broadband internet connection and a video display device. And uh, the user uh, don't need to buy any new versions of the game and also can play anywhere at, at, at any time only by a um, um, display device, the video display device. And uh, this uh, play can um, be used in, on various dis devices such as a smartphone, tablet, notebook, PC, and uh, smart TVs. Uh, but uh, game as video has some uh, challenges. The first one is that uh, the network bandwidth, because um, uh, when game as video is streaming, data rates are significantly higher than the conventional game video, and it's uh, just similar to the video streaming. And uh, the second um, dis uh, disadvantage is the latency. Network, la network la la latency can affect the quality of experience and quality of services uh, and uh, of the players. And the last one is energy consumption at the server side, uh, because uh, usually massive number of game sessions are run simultaneously, uh, since uh, the, hence the encode, uh, en energy consum consumption at the server or uh, cloud is very high. Uh, the proposed method in this uh, paper uh, um, uh, pro mm, suggests that to render and uh, video uh, codi coding uh, done at the server side only, and the video encoded uh, stream to the client. And the main feature of the, this um, purpose method is that it adapts the game scene in a way that lower bit rate uh, and uh, lower energy consumption can be achieved at the uh, server side. And the key, key idea of the paper is that uh, some of the less important objects from the game scene are omitted completely. And, the, and only the important objects are coded and streamed to the uh, uh, players. In fact, this paper proposed a method uh, in order to find uh, the um, important object uh, effectively. So uh, the proposed method is uh, an activity-based object selection method. And uh, the steps of the um, method, uh, proposed method is, is as follows. 
First, uh, we maintain a list of containing objects of the um, game. Uh, this list can be uh, produced uh, by game designers because uh, they are completely aware of the uh, um, game context and they know that uh, in each part of the game which objects are uh, available. Uh, after that, we evaluate the importance of the object and this evaluation is done according to the current activity of the player at each scene of the game. Uh, and then we select the most important object and um, the less important objects are omitted completely from the scene. And only the remaining one, uh, ma namely the um, high impo th most important objects, uh, are coded and streamed to the game player. Uh, in order to evaluate the purpose method, uh, the others uh, uses two, two 3D demo games, uh, Boot Camp, uh, Camp Online and Angry Boots. And uh, the uh, video are encoded using X.26 file implementation of H.26 for AVC uh, video coding standard with high profile, and two rate control methods uh, have been considered in this paper, ABR, uh, average bit rate, and CRF, a constant rate factor. And the target bit rate is one uh, megabit pace per second. Um, in order to evaluate the purpose method, some uh, performance metrics, uh, metri metrics have been um, ex ex selected for the uh, evaluation. The first one is uh, size of the coded videos, and uh, the second one is a streaming bitrate, including average and peak. And the last one is encoding time at the server side. And in order to um, evaluate the encoding time, uh, the Intel VTune amplifier uh, has been used. Here is uh, one shot of the, um, the first game, bootcamp game. Uh, and the uh, above uh, picture is the um, original picture. And uh, the bottom is the uh, adapted one. Uh, the aim of the, the activity of the game player in this uh, shot is aiming, and uh, they want to show to the uh, uh, specific aims. Uh, so some obstacles that are presented in the uh, first uh, picture is not uh, important for this activity. So they are completely omitted in the adapted version, and only the important parts and important object uh, that is the target of aiming uh, are coded and streamed to the, to the uh, game players. Uh, here is the result uh, for two different uh, rate control methods, CRF and ABR. Uh, and uh, the um, average coded frame size, and average uh, streaming bitrate, and peak streaming bitrate, and average encoding time per frame are reported. As you can see, uh, for the first method, first rate control method, the average coded frame size um, is decreased, and the percentage decrease is 8.8 .8 for CRF method. And for APR method, it's a, it is a 3.7 uh, percentage decrease. And also for average encoding time per frame, for the first method, we have a 7.8 percentage decrease. And for ABR method, we have 3.8 percentage uh, decrease. Uh, and it should be noted that although the mm, uh, numbers are um, tiny, but it should be considered in a cloud environment. Since in cloud environment, lots of uh, game sessions are uh, played simultaneously, these tiny uh, numbers uh, can be overall significant for all of the users and all of the players. So uh, the mm, final uh, bitrate reduction and final energy consumption is huge. And uh, it is the... Mm, one of the, the other shots of the other game, Angry Bots game. And uh, again, the first uh, picture is the original one, and the bottom is the mm, adapted one. Uh, again, the gaming activity in this um, screen is aiming. So uh, some uh, unimportant uh, obstacles from the uh, original uh, frame is uh, omitted in the adapted one. And it is co streamed and coded, coded and streamed to the game player. And here is the, again the results. Uh, as we can see, again, we have a 2.2 decrease, percentage decrease for average uh, coded frame size for CRF rate control method, and 8 uh, percentage dec decrease for ABR. And also for uh, encoding time per frame, average encoding time per frame, we have a 2.4 dec percentage decrease for CRF and 6.9 percentage decrease in uh, ABR rate control method. Uh, in summary, the purpose method is a game uh, scene adaptation method uh, that uses used, uh, object selection method in order to optimize the uh, bitrate and uh, power consumption. 
And only the main uh, key, the key idea of the paper is that only the most important object from the perspective of, of the player's activity are coded in the uh, scene. And uh, the less important objects are omitted completely. And uh, the simulation results show that uh, the uh, total bitrate and the uh, processing time are decreased uh, in uh, both of the rate control methods. Uh, as a future work, uh, first the uh, authors want to uh, evaluate the, uh, the quality of experience of this method. Since some of the objects are uh, completely omitted, they want to know that how it, is, it can affect the quality of experience of the users. Uh, so uh, they want to um, do some uh, subjective tests in order to evaluate it. And also uh, comparison, uh, make a comparison between the quality of experience when all of the objects are available and the case that some of, some of the objects are omitted. And also uh, the second um, mm, suggestion is that instead of uh, omitting all of the objects uh, completely, all of the unimportant objects completely, we can code them with a lower level of details. Uh, and also uh, we can uh, um, code them with lower bitrate. And then uh, consider the overall quality of experience and compare, compare the quality of experience in these two um, cases. And finally, thanks for your attention. Thank you. So, any questions? I don't know how. Uh, I try to answer it. Okay. Just curious if you had issues, um, you know, so you remove some of the objects and as the person is moving around, do you end up having things because of the proximity to something that was missing then popping up? Is that an issue at all or mm -hmm. was, was that resolved somehow? Uh, I, I couldn't understand uh, the... So, so you're removing some objects, right, that aren't encoded into the stream? Um, uh, and that's from the perspective of where the person is now. Yeah. Now, if the person is moving towards something, mm. then some of the objects become more important. Yes, uh, at each, each scene of the game, we select some specific object. When the, play, when the player is come over, then the scene of the game is changed. So in the in new scene, we can... Uh, so you just do it on the scene? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I've uh, worked in games for <coughs> seven years. Uh, I realized from the last slide of the future work, you were already asking some of the questions I wanted to ask, so it's, uh, that's good. But uh, I still wonder about how you consider the uh, additional workload on the game designers mm, yeah. to um. uh, make these decisions. And also, most objects actually have a collision, which means if you remove them from the game, the game gets unplayable. Yes, uh, as, as, as I said, in each scene, uh, some objects are uh, available. The collision uh, is um, uh, um, happened when the scene is changed, yes. So the collision the is also removed, so you can actually go through them. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Which sort of parameters do you suggest to use for the level of compression, for the level of removing objects? Mm, uh, only uh, the, uh, we can uh, code them with lower bitrate, for example. And then um, the overall bitrate can be decreased, by, but, but we couldn't uh, omit them completely. It's one of the suggestions, but uh, maybe uh, we can uh, find a um, more efficient way. I actually have a question. Um, I don't know robots that well, but the other one is definitely a first-person shooter game, right? Have you actually looked in, or are you pl planning to look into other kind of games, like sport games, or any, any games that are shared? And how does this uh, method actually work in these two type of games? It, it seems to work kind of pretty well for, for this specific yeah. uh, um, type of games, but I'm kind of wondering, is it maybe too narrow for the, you know, how does it work for a broad range of games, actually? Mm, I, have, I don't have any idea, but uh, I, I'm thinking that 
Mm, I think it is uh, only possible for such a uh, game that uh, have uh, distinct objects and can um, consider it. But which is a good area to start because they're probably yeah. the most popular ones, right? So, <laughs> but I was just wondering how it would look like mm. on other type of games. Any other questions? Yeah. Well, uh, what are the criteria to uh, uh, select that an object will be uh, removed from the game plan? The criteria, criteria is the uh, importance and non-importance of the object in that specific scene, uh, according to the activity of the player. For example, when, when in uh, one scene, player uh, want to uh, shot to specific aims, only that specific aim aims are uh, important, and the other obstacles are, are not important. And when the scene changed in the new scene, uh, the another object may be important. It's the criteria. And how so do you know this? Uh, it's uh, known in uh, because uh, uh, um, from the game. It's not from the game designer. Game designer know the context of the uh, game completely, and it can be extracted from. It's, it's but for each game, it's specific. Yes. The yes. yes. Are there any suggested tests for obtaining these criteria? Okay. Paul, just a quick question. Do you want to organize talk by talk, uh, six synchronized talk by talk, or uh, a wave? Do you expect people to switch between the session? You just want to continue? Okay.